In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Command me, O Lord, as you did that piety, to be healed and to smash the bed of my affliction. And by your good pleasure, talk in the house of the Lord, and to flourish in the cause of our God and not to sin. Smash, O Lord, the power of Satan, Cut off and cast his strength far away. Prohibit his assault upon me, lest he compel my flesh and bear me along that wide path that leads to ruin and destruction. Bring back, O Lord, to my distracted and forgetful mind your dread and terrible coming, your impartial judgment the honor and glory for the righteous and the unremitting torments for sinners. By these things make my flesh tremble and quake to see death constantly before my eyes. Fasten my body, O Lord, unto the fear of you and my soul unto the love of your commandments, to listen with fear to whatever you order for it and always to accomplish it without delay to strip myself of sin and of the desires for this present life and to become resplendent with virtuous habits. Save me, O Lord, from the secret darts of Satan, who with his many devices surrounds me and hems me in. He takes my mind hostage and leads it off captive to the enjoyment of sin, making me an object of ridicule and derision to my enemies. Fortify me, O Lord, in the fear of you, and with your strength give strength to me who am so weak. Restore to health the sickness of my soul, heal the source of my flesh, and in my heart establish the fervor of your love, that I may become a companion of your holy ones. Bring me back, O Lord, for I have been taken captive by Satan. By my sins, I have been sold into the bitter torments of the Egyptians. Save me from those tyrannical evil servants of the demons. Take me away from this reed-filled quagmire of sin and bring me into the land of the good news. Drown, O Lord, my enemies, as you did the army of Pharaoh, who haughtily utters threats against me and pursues me to bring me back to my former transgressions and under his power to be a servant to his sin, to the sin and lawfulness. Sin, our 
پرتون خاچا گیتس که هزار رار یه وز پای توتس و مغاتون چیتوتر آزاده تروز میز که نهارار پای دیبن آروم مادر یفشید کاریان کار پوزین از دیزرز کس یار کسن یه گرتیک در پوزه زرگوز پوکیوز و Ast vad zain marte gutian avasaretser azmez marno ko yevarjan badarakavat ori. Merciful Father and God of consolation, who comforts us in all our troubles, hear now the plea of your servants and accept our supplications. Make us worthy to glorify you with the thankfulness along with your Son and the Holy Spirit, now and always, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel of Jesus Christ according to John. Our Lord Jesus Christ. Now before the festival of the Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. The devil had already put, put it into the heart of Judas, son of Simon Iscariot, to betray him. And during supper, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things unto his hands and that he had come from God and was going to God, got up from the table, took off his outer robe and tied a towel around himself. Then he poured water into the basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with a towel that was tied around him. 
he came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered, you do not know now what I am doing, but later you will understand. Peter said to him, you will never wash my feet. Jesus answered, unless I wash you, you have no share in me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Jesus said to him, one who has bathed does not need to, be, to wash except for the feet, but is entirely clean. And you are clean, though not all of you, for he knew who was to betray him. For this reason, he said, not all of you are clean. After he had washed their feet, he put on his robe and had returned to the table. He said to them, do, not, do you know what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for that is what I am. So if I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have set you an example that you also should do as I have done to you. In faith, I confess and bow down to you, Father, and Son, and Holy Spirit. On created and immortal nature, faith of angels, man, and all things, have mercy upon you, creatures, and upon me, great sinner that I am. In faith, I confess and bow down to you, O Lord, O light, invisible, O substantial Holy Trinity, and one Godhead creator of light and dispeller of darkness. Lift from my soul the darkness of the sin and ignorance and illuminate my mind at this hour so that I may pray to you according to your pleasure and receive from you the answers to my prayers. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, great sinner that I am. Heavenly Father, true God, who sent your beloved son in search of the sheep that had gone astray, I have sinned against heaven and before you. Receive me as the prodigal son and clothe me with the original garment of which I was divested by sin. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, great sinner that I am. Son of God, true God, who descended from the bosom of the Father and took flesh of the lovely Virgin Mary, for our salvation, who was crucified, buried, and arose from the dead, and ascended with glory to the Father. I have sinned against heaven and before you. Remember me as the thief when you come with your kingdom. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, great sinners that I am. Spirit of God, true God, who descended into the river Jordan and the upper room, and enlighten me through the baptism of the holy font. I have sinned against heaven and before you. Purify me again with your divine fire, as you purified the holy apostles with fiery tongues. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, great sinner that I am. On created nature, I have sinned against you in my thoughts with my soul and body. Remember not my previous sins for the sake of your holy name. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, great sinner that I am. Seer of all, I have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. Erase the record of my transgressions and write my name in the book of life. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, great sinner that I am. Search of secrets, I have sinned against you willingly and unwillingly, knowingly and unknowingly. Grant forgiveness to me, a sinner, for since my birth at the Holy Font until this day, I have seen before you, Godhead, with my senses and with all the members of my body. Have mercy upon you, creatures, and upon me, the sinner that I am. O caring Lord, place your holy fear before my eyes as a shield, that they may no longer gaze with lust before my ears, that they may not enjoy hearing words of evil, before my mouth, that it may utter no falsehood, before my heart, 
that it may think of no evil before my hands, that they may do not injustice before my feet, that they may not walk on the path of iniquity before, but so direct their movements that they may at all times be according to your commandments in all things. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, great sinner that I am. Christ, living fire, inflame my soul with the fire of your love, which you sent forth upon the earth, that it may consume the impurities of my soul, cleanse my conscience, purge the sins of my body, and kindle in my heart the light of your knowledge. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, great sinner that I am. Jesus, wisdom of the Father, Grant me wisdom that I may at all times think, speak, and do before you that which is good in your sight, and save me from evil thoughts, words, and deeds. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, great sinner that I am. Willer of good, O Lord, fulfiller of your will, let me not pursue my own inclinations, but guide me so that I may at all times live according to your good will. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, great sinner that I am. Heavenly King, grant me your kingdom which you promised to your beloved, and strengthen my heart to hate sin and to love you only and to do your will. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, great sinner that I am. Protector of all creatures, by the sign of your cross, keep my soul and body from the allurements of sin from the temptations of evil spirits, from unjust men, and from all perils of soul and body. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, great sinner that I am. Christ, guardian of all creatures, let your right hand be a shadow over me day and night, carrying at home and traveling, sleeping and rising, that I may never fail. Have mercy upon your creatures, and upon me, great sinner that I am. O oh my God, generously satiate all. I try again. O oh my God, generously satiate all creatures with your mercy. To you I commit myself. Take care of and provide for the needs of my body and soul from this time forth and forevermore have mercy upon your creatures and upon me great sinner that i am you who bring back those who have gone astray turn me away from my evil habits to good habits and imprint upon my soul the dreadful day of death the fear of hell and the love of the kingdom, so that I may repent from my sins and do righteousness. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, great sinner that I am. Fountain of immortality, make tears of penitence flow from my heart like the tears of the adulteress, so that I may wash away my sins before departing from this world. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, great sinner that I am. Restore of mercy, grant that I may come to you in true faith and with good works, and by the communion of your holy body and blood, have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, great sinner that I am. Beneficent Lord, commit me to the good angel so that I may in the gentleness give up my soul and pass unperturbed through the evil spirits that roam this earth. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, great sinner that I am. Christ, true light, make my soul worthy to behold with joy the light of your glory the day when you will call on us, and to rest in the hope of good things in the abode of the just until the day of your glorious coming. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, great sinner that I am. Righteous judge, when you come with the glory of the Father to judge the living and the dead, enter not into judgment 
with your servant. But deliver me from the eternal fire and make me hear the blissful calling of the just to your heavenly kingdom. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, great sinner that I am. O merciful Lord, have mercy upon all those who believe in you, on those who are mine and those who are strangers, on those I know and those I know not, on the living and on the dead. And also grant my enemies and those who hate me forgiveness for the transgressions committed against me, and turn them away from the malice they bear towards me, so that they may be worthy of your mercy. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, great sinner that I am. Glorious Lord, accept the supplications of your servant and fulfill them towards that which is good through the intercession of the Holy Mother of God, John the Baptist, and Saint Stephen the Protomartyr, and Saint Gregory our Illuminator, and the Holy Apostles, the Prophets, the Teachers, the Martyrs, the Patriarchs, the Hermits, the Virgins, the Monks, and all your Saints in heaven and on earth. And glory and worship be to you, O indivisible Holy Trinity, forever and ever. Amen.
and hope of all the faithful, Christ our God, we commit ourselves unto your care. Keep unshaken the Holy Apostolic Church of the Armenians and ignite in the hearts of the faithful the light and love of your divine knowledge. Regale the rulers of this world with your wisdom that they lead the world in peace. Strengthen the republics of the United States, Armenia and Artsakh and their armed forces and keep firm the united will of the Armenian people. Bless all your faithful people with the almighty power of your holy cross. Save and free them from all types of visible and invisible enemies and calamities, and especially from the threat of the novel coronavirus. Make the souls of our martyrs worthy of your heavenly kingdom and console their families with your Holy Spirit. Liberate the prisoners from their bones and safely return refugees to their homes. Grant physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual healing to the injured and traumatized and make us worthy to glorify with thanksgiving the whole Holy Trinity, now and always and forever and ever. Amen. Blessed is our Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever, amen. Be blessed by the grace of the Holy Spirit. Depart in peace, and may the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Amen.